Welcome back everybody. We are going to be exploring the gradient tool today. Another tool to add some color to our image. So let's go ahead and open up a letter size document. I'm going to do it landscape just so it fits the screen better. All right, here we are. Uh, I've got my color open, my swatch is open because we're going to be using some color here. I'm going to change this to HSB. I have the gradient uh, window open as well. So you can get that over here by window and gradient. All right, let's turn it off. Here it is back on. And I've always got my layers usually open so I can see what's going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a shape. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little uh, rectangle. And I'm gonna zoom in so we can see what's going on a little better. I'm gonna go down now to the gradient tool. There it is, G is the shortcut, gradient tool. I'm gonna to click on it, nothing happens. It's like, okay, I don't know what's going on here, but you can see some of the same buttons here as they are over in the window. Go ahead and click on one of them, and voila, we have a gradient, okay? So uh, a lot of the controls are both here, here, and even on the slider uh, right here where I can uh, adjust the gradient. So the default that it adds is just a straight up black to white gradient. You can kind of see right here, right? You can see it here, white, black, white, black. And then uh, this can be adjusted. So I can move the white to make it, uh, you know, more white on this gradient line, more black. So you can bring this closer together, further apart. And let's see. Oops, did it for a second there. And I can even pick up the line here and move it around. Let's say I just want way more black over there. You can kind of move it around that way as well. The gradient tool over here, let's see. Similar things, we can slide this this way, uh, to the right or to the left. We can also adjust that over here. Another thing we can do is change the angle. So this line does not necessarily need to be straight. So you can change the degrees and you can get a gradient that is at, uh, you know, different angles on your shape. Okay, another thing we can do here is we can change the color. So let's go ahead and click on this right here. And if I click on this little um, dot here where the color is, I can change it. Can also do it over here. And obviously we can change the other side as well. Okay. Let's let me go ahead and make this straight again, just because there it is. And I've got my two sliders now that can be adjusted. But another thing I can do, another thing is grab a color from the swatch and drag and drop it. And I can have multiple points of color in here. Not this is that this is always the best thing to do. Start starts looking a little bit kitschy or cheesy, uh, but you can do it. And if I need to get rid of some of these, I can just select the color here and delete it. Okay, but that's not a bad transition right there. Okay, other things we can do. Obviously, we can adjust the opacity, and we can tone it down quite a bit. You can also adjust this location of the dots here. But I would just slide them. There's just no reason for me to do it there, I don't think. Oh, let's go ahead and turn this. Oh, by the way, zero is not all the way nothing. It's just a very, very low opacity. All right, I guess if you want nothing, you just turn it off, okay? All right, so there we are. Let's look at what else we can do here. So we'll save that as it is. Let me go ahead and make another shape here. Let's just do a different shape just for, whoops, just for an example here. Okay, so notice when I made this shape, it went to the exact same uh, specifications I had on the last shape, and that's just kind of normal what happens when you're making any shape. Um, but what I want to do here is hit this button right here. There we are. Uh, now this is a radial gradient. So we have similar controls, but now it's doing the gradient in a circle, right? So I can 
change the way this looks. I can also rotate it for no reason. It doesn't help me in this view, but I can make it bigger here. That's what I was trying to do. I can expand or make the gradient smaller. Again, always adjusting the sliders if I need to. And that's pretty cool. Let's see. I can also pick this up and move the center point off to the side if I want to. Let's see if I can make this bigger now. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not stuck with just my radial point being in the middle. I can also have it radiate like that. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome uh, little tool there. All right, I'm going to take off this stroke because it is bugging. Nah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's check out another one. So I'm going to leave those as they are. Let's go ahead and, and pick another t uh, shape here. I'll scooch it over. Make a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this button over here, the free form gradient. So let's see what happens when I hit this button. Oh, I hit it multiple times. Check out what happens. It mixed it up. All right. So the free form gradient is very different. I'm going to go ahead and go back and just see what happens here. Now I hit it again. I was going to pick different colors. Check it out. And it kind of changes, I believe. Yeah, it changes when you do it. Okay. But uh, the freeform gradient is different. I've got these points here that can be moved around and that obviously can have a color to it. So let me go ahead and change that one to red. I can take this point here, I can move it around because I'm in point, so I didn't even specify that. I moved from line to point, but now I'm in point. So I can change the point, I can make it smaller, bigger. Um, let's go ahead and go to my HSB sliders. I'm going to go ahead and pick red again, but I'm going to change it like this. There we go. It does some interesting things there. Okay. And I've got those two points, but I can add another point or another point by just clicking when I'm on point in different places. And then I can go ahead and adjust these. Let's just add a totally different color to see what happens. Again, you can adjust that, you can move it, and let's say I want to get rid of it. I'm going to select that one, and I can just delete it with the delete button. All right, so I can have multiple points, each giving off its own controlled gradient, and let's see what else. Oh, let's go to line. So let's go ahead and switch to another shape here. Okay, let's go ahead and hit uh, the freeform gradient again, and let's see what it did here. Took a bunch of similar colors and added five points this time. And I'm looking at them in point, so I can move around the points. Expand that one. But let's get rid of a bunch of these. I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. Delete. Hit this one and hit delete. Okay, and I want to mess with the line for a second here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit line. I'm going to go ahead and hit obnoxious color so you can see what happens. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. Okay, so we'll go there. Let's go ahead and hit line. Here we go. So let's go. And you can see that it adds a curve. So wherever you click, it's not doing straight lines. It's trying to make it smooth. If I keep going around, it'll keep adding the uh, green gradient following my line. And these points, see my back here. There we go. I had to go to edit gradient. And then I can, I believe I can move these. Nope, not like that. Edit gradient. There we go. I don't know why that one does not want to move. There we go. Now it wants to move. Didn't want to move for a second. So back on gradient tool, I can go to my points and I can adjust these. I can uh, delete if I have too many points and I don't need it. And your gradient does not necessarily have to be a point. 
obviously it can be a line. Oop, I attached that one. Didn't want to necessarily attach it. I want to go to points now. I'm going to move this one on top just so we can see the line. Come on, there we go. Move you this way. Let's make you a little bit bigger. Move you down. Come on, there we go. There's bigger. Okay, so a lot of control with your gradients in the free form gradient. Uh, can do some interesting things with coloring and add some more uh, detailed kind of shading going on uh, in our illustrator images. And there you go. That's a little rundown of the gradient tool. All right, stay tuned. And we're going to do another version of the gradient tool in the next tutorial. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys got something good out of this.